Hi friends, if any of you are like me and you purchased a lot of Daphne's Diary magazines in the hopes to be able to use them and create things and sell it back, um, back before we found out that we couldn't sell anything made with Daphne's Diary. Anyway, this video is for you. <laughs> I want to show you just how I'm um, working through my Christmas stash. So now I, had, I did have three copies of the December uh, 2000, I think it'd be November or December, the 2018. So I had three of these. I had bought two and one was a gift. And then I also had the 2017 cop issue. And I have three of them. You know, one was a gift and I had purchased two of them. Now, it doesn't look like I've used much of it, but I, I've barely put a dent in it. And I, but I, because I want to show you what I've been doing to try to work through this stash of of you know paper that's just sitting there and I need to create something with it and it's you know it's we all love it and it's so beautiful and so I'll show you the journals that I've made um I've made two journals out of just this stash I know had someone had left a comment on my channel recently about another journal that I had made using Daphne's diary and they wondered how much I had left of the magazine I mean gosh I, I have stacks of them and I I was making stuff with it it doesn't put a very big dent in it um, because there's so much of it, you know, that you can use. And then we add, a, add, you know, some extra paper and scrapbooking paper with it. So I will, uh, I'll show you the journals that I created. So I've created two journals. These are just the Christmas journals. I had so much fun making these and, and I really just wanted to create something fun. And I, uh, I just wasn't into making too much of other things right now. I'm just looking at this huge stash of stuff that I had. So so I made these uh, little shaker covers. Um, if you saw my video from yesterday, you'll see that I used my design team project um, for Calico Collage. I made a shaker cover with it. So check that video out. It's the one before this one. So I'll start with, uh, with these. So this one here, um, I can use um, a sh like shaker here and you can see the bunny through it and it's got little snowflakes and I've what the covers if you haven't seen my other video I'll just show you real quick. I've made them cutting these in half So, you know, we get these I was using these for storage as well and I do use them but <clears throat> for this project I, I cut them in half just past the, the plastic for um, fastener there and then, I mean, I have them in all kinds of colors, but I'll just show you what I've done with these ones. Now, this one here, I've used a clear cover. And I've just, you know, kind of added some extra ribbon that I had kicking around from last year. And then I had all kinds of ribbon that I acquired from a friend. And then, um, you know, just little charms. So I've stitched around to hold all the sequins in there. And then for the back, um, I've just stitched around here and then it's a full pocket to put extra things in <clears throat> so I'll show you this one real quick these are so fun I just loved making these so like this here is the back of it's the back of this cover and I've done a little bit of collaging over it just to get rid of where just to show you real quick what it looks like you know when you're cutting it I cut it like this so this area here, I've just covered that up with, you know, bits from the magazine. <clears throat> and then of course there's the inside of that cover. I hope this helps you try to work through your stash of uh, magazines. I know some people are like, I can't cut it up or it's too pretty to cut up. But when you've bought three, <laughs> when you've got three copies, you just, I just go to town. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to hoard stuff anymore. So anyway, this is uh, a little layaway tag that I had and it, I like because it had 24 on it kind of Christmassy so you know these are kind of like for De December daily or something um, I've pulled pieces out of the planner that I never used and I did use like some of the Michaels Best Buy paper pads and then I, I've used a couple other different paper pads if I come across them I'll let you know what they are so these are all the images in here mostly are Daphne's diary right from the magazines and I, I here I've collaged over this was some bow bunny paper I had here and here and I've just collaged over one of the images, just cut it out. And then, of course, this is an image from Daphne's diary. I just kind of made a little postcard there with a tab. Some extra paper. And here, are, these are from the magazine. And I stitched them. 
just made a little pocket there. And then here's like a little collage tag I made. Just use some of the pages, little bits. I know when you, you know when you get like, you know, these little images here, these are great for, you know, fussy cutting and, you know, using them on, um, for collaging really. Like they're just all kinds of like this, this piece here, there's three, four pieces from, that I've pulled from all over the place to make one little collage tag. So just some options for you to use up your stuff. <clears throat> so for something like this, I love the image in on this side. So I just folded and glued it in half. The other side was kind of more ad advertisement, so it didn't, I, it didn't matter if I covered that up. And then uh, I did print, I love grid paper. A lot of people know that if you watch my channel. And I just printed it on uh, pink and green just to give that bullet journal feel because you do need some extra writing space. And, and if anybody's like me, I like lines or grid or something to write on. I don't, I don't necessarily like plain paper. I do when it comes to, you know, putting some pictures or doing some collaging or something, but I, sometimes I just like to have something. I'm a little bit more OCD that way. I like a little bit of neatness in, in amongst a junk mess, if that makes sense. So these are all images from the magazine. I don't want to spend too much time taking up too much of your time flipping through. But just to give you some ideas, that's a collage tag. This is extra scrapbook paper I had. Here's Daphne's diary again. I mean, you, if you've got these magazines, you'll rec start recognizing these images. And this, I love cinnamon buns. I use this image in my some one of my other journals. Or no, I, oh, actually this one. I used it in this other one you'll see coming up. So I backed that. I just cut it out of off the page, and then I attached in here the actual recipe for it. It was so fun. And I loved this image and I loved the back. So what I did is I just flipped it up and made a pocket and I just stitched, added a little bit of, of trim. Now if you're like, I all these trims that I've used, they were all the wired ones and I bought them all like, I got a discount on them at one, one time and I just pulled the wires out of them all so that they're all nice and flexible and soft. another image here make it kind of read that but it's you know beautiful images here I just you know stapled that piece on there this is some echo park paper paper I had there more ribbon on the top great page for a layout this is Daphne's diary again I just folded this one in half I just cut the pages down that's when I attached and then like the back, what was on the backs. So I attached it to some scrapbook paper. I mean, you find these in the magazine as well. And they're kind of that shiny, you can't glue it. You can't really do, I mean, you could write on it, but you can't, you know, other than two way tape, it doesn't really, glue doesn't really stick to it. So this one, I just made a little pocket, stick receipts in it or whatever you're doing for December daily, grid paper. You always get like in the magazine a full sheet of like what they call like wrapping paper or something. Um, this one here is just a fun little page I made. You could actually do some tuck, use it as a tuck or journal in there. This was some star vellum that I had. And this here is an image I just cut out from the magazine. And here I made a tag, with some scrapbook paper. And you know, these are all little bits you can cut out from the magazine. You know, do your collaging, make some tags. You can, you know, cut out all kinds of little ephemera. Uh, many of us do that. Many people do that. It's You can make some great ephemera bits and collaging pieces to decorate your pages. That's beautiful. <clears throat> and I really loved this page here. So, and then this was a piece that said presents for other people, and on the back it said presents for me, and I really loved that image and these are full sheets of paper that you get in the magazine as well so I just folded that don't necessarily have to cut everything I mean it really went nice with this scrap of paper <coughs> excuse me the um, this is a, was a, from a hot buy Michael's pad and I just you know did another little flip there this was scrap of paper just add a little pom-pom trim here's another one of those you know, glossy, like kind of 
hard to glue on anything page, so I just made it into a pocket as well. <clears throat> and here is, you'll see this is the inside of the magazine here. I just folded it in half and then used it as a little tag flip there. There's some another image here, and then of course it goes this way. And these I cut out for the magazine. You can just decorate the tops of your pages, just like cutting out, fussy cutting ephemera. And this here was a piece from the back of the magazine. I just stitched this piece on here. It was on the back of scrapbook paper. So then you have a nice little layout there. Added some trim, another little flip there, some ribbon. And this little fairy, Christmas fairy. Love the little deer. I'm really enjoying using my cinch right now too. And this was a little little girl I, fu I fussy cut out as well. And I liked this page here and the inside of it said Happy New Year. And I loved the image there. But this here I really liked. I didn't want to lose this whole sheet. So I just kept that whole. And I've just got some pink grid. And then I've got, you know, a little bit of the vintage images. And on the back, I wanted to keep that little deer because it was so cute. And here's some more ledger. This was a page, I just glued this one together. Just to make it, you know, you could do some journaling there. And then here's a piece of bow bunny paper that I had left from last year and I just made a pocket. And then of course you got a nice big pocket for Christmas cards and you know, stamps and all that kind of stuff. So I just thought that one was cute. And I'll show you this one. This one started out being my favorite, but now I don't know. I don't know, you know, I'm gonna be making these, but I just don't know what to do with them. But this one here, I've got jingle bells and little snowflakes inside the shaker. This one, I used the green on this one and then, and also on the back. So then I used the red stitching just to give it a nice, Nice look with the red and the green. And then I got another little snowflake. These are just little plastic pieces that I had. Actually, I think they were buttons or something at one time and I just cut them. And then this one I did, um, this antique brass coil that I had and some more trim. Again, you'll see some of the images are the same because I'm working out of the same two magazines. So much fun. I've just done the placement a little bit different. This one here. I just folded it this way instead of up as a pocket so then I could keep the image. And then this one, I didn't make the pocket out of that. I just made it because you can write on it. There's some squares. Another little flip. Ledger paper. There's a piece I just folded that so you could get the image on both sides. I had some nice music vellum there. This one I glued down differently. I love that image. Here's another piece from the planner. Let's tuck that in there. And then here I've got, here's the recipe for the cinnamon buns. And then I've just added like a tag here and I've done, I just stitched a little pocket with the vellum on the back of this. And then there's the cinnamon buns. The little tab there, it's so cute. And this one I just did a little um, tag out of some extra paper. I've just done some stitching. Same paper. I'm trying to use up my stash. Here's uh, a recipe for fudge candy. You always get those recipe cards in the um, in the magazine as well. I just punched that one. I just punched out and put in there. I'm actually going to do this one for the fudge candy. The recipe is so simple. My, um, we're going to actually do that one this year. And then I've just added some more little top toppers there. And here's again, here's the back. I've used this one as a page so they could show off the back. Isn't that pretty with the trim and the birds? And then there's the presents. And again, I liked that how that image worked in the other journal. So here's another piece of that, the back. Just backed it on here and stitched that. The extra little scrap of paper that I had. This one is a Kaiser Craft, I believe. Some 
<clears throat> extra envelopes I had. I just reinforced there with some pieces from the sides of the pages, you know, when you get, you know, like those edge pieces. I just did a little bit of collage there. this wrapping paper that was in there. I'll see a lot of the same pieces. So on the back of this one, I didn't cover the whole thing. What I did was I left it and I just collaged this piece over it so that I could still show off some of the images there. And I got this bag from some happy mail from Dolly. Thank you, Dolly. And I just, I had to cut it a little bit so I just stitched it shut there. That's a nice big pocket. And then here's another one of those. Here's what the recipe cards look like, you know, before you punch it. So if I wanted to punch it out, it could be like um, a frame or I'll probably just leave it like that. There's that page again. This one, they had these little things you cut out. It says to and from. I just let it peek, the little heart peek out the top of the page. And then a full spread here. This is some of the hot buy pads from Michaels. Now this one we've seen in the other one as well. And then I got this from Dolly and some Happy Mail. I feel like I missed something here. What I did. Missed, I missed a pocket page or something. This must be in the other one. Anyway. And then this was a card I got from Dolly and some hot, Happy Mail as well. And then here I just took one of the images from the, the magazine and I didn't really know how I was going to cut it and I thought, well, I'll just use it like a bookmark, I guess. Added some ribbon at the top. It looks really cute. I didn't want to, I didn't know if I wanted to cut it because I really liked the cookies. So it could be like a bookmark or tall tag. And then of course there's a pocket there and then another full pocket here. So yeah, I really adored this project, had a lot of fun. I should have been making other things, but I was just, you know, I just love how they feel. They feel really nice, and I always figure if you're, you know, making something and it's not gonna get wet if something gets splashed on it at Christmas or something, if you're gonna use it to add some recipes or do some baking. So then the other things that I was doing <clears throat> was I take the a page, this one here, just to give you an idea, I was making these little ornaments. I have a very small tree in my craft room here. So what I've done here is I've just taken a page and I just sort of, I mean, this was off one page just to give you an idea of what it looks like. One page of Daphne's diary. So I just use my like die cuts um, and my cuddle bug. And I just have a cuddle bug. So it's just a, yeah, it doesn't, it's not very big. So it just die cut some images out to make, I mean, you could use these for decorating on a tree, you can use them for gift tags, you know, I'm just trying to use, think of things I can use up the, the magazine for. And then, uh, you know, here's one here. Here's one I didn't, did with just, just craft paper and some I've used with white paper. So the project that I've kind of decided to do with these is, um, just Chris and I are gonna make each 20, 24 of these, um, we, we may even make more. And then on the back of for December Daily, what we'll do is we'll write something we're grateful for or a lesson we've learned this year. And we'll write on the back and then hang it on the tree. And then I'll put them all away for, they'll all be together for the end of the year. And for next year, we'll be able to get them out and take a look at what 2019 was for us. So, I mean, I've started a few, but she's going to go through them and find images that she likes and we'll make some for her too and just different sizes. I'll probably start aiming them more a little bit more a bit smaller just so they fit on the tree. The tree's not very big, but so these will take up a lot of space if we're both going to do our own. And, and I think that's kind of important. So but yeah, so anyway, guys, that's that's my little Daphne's diary projects. I don't know if that if that helps you to kind of work through your stash um, yourself. Um, just a few ideas. I mean, I'm not re I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just trying to just show you what I'm doing, and maybe if you've got some my extra ideas, you can let me know and you know tag me so I can see the kind of things that you're doing. Anyway, I do have another video I want to show you. 
I'll do it separate um, because I do have this gorgeous bunch of Daphne's Diary <laughs> journals as well that I've made. And these ones are just, oh, they're just my, absolutely my favorite. And I do want to show you guys how what they look like and how I've used the covers so and what how I've made them so that you can get some ideas on how to work through your stash. So stay tuned for this video. I'll try and get this up as soon as possible so that you can see those. And for now, that's it. And... Um, watch for the next video and let me know what you think what you guys think. Okay. Take care guys